Monica AI Review and Tutorial Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to review Monica AI and show you how to use it. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Monica AI, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where in a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Monica AI, it is an advanced all-in-one AI assistant developed by Anthropic, designed to enhance productivity across various tasks, in which it integrates multiple AI technologies including GPT-40, Claude, Gemini, and DALL-E, each tailored for specific functions such as language, understanding, complex reasoning, and image generation. And Monica AI serves as a personal assistant, offering features like summarization of text, translation capabilities, and an art generator that creates image from text descriptions. And now to create an account, you could also click the link in the description, or alternatively, you could also add this to your Chrome. But before that, let's start to navigate some other features it offer. On the top panel, we have here the language, the products, some of the toolkits, including AI tools. We have here AI detector, AI translator, artifacts, while well, under image tools, you have here remove text, remove object, and even this PDF tool to transfer PDF to PNG, and many more. And also this productivity for search agent, writing agent, web translate. And also under this summary, you could also navigate this YouTube summary, web summary and chat PDF. And to download this application or platform, just click this one. And it will show you that you can download in Windows, Mac, iPhone or even in Android. Or you could also add this to your Chrome by clicking this button right here. Then you will be directed on this page under this Chrome web store. You can simply install this or add this as your extension. Below here it will show you the overview and also the feedback from other user. And as you can see it has an excellence rating. And now to proceed by clicking this add to Chrome button, it will automatically show us that this extension Monica AI is now currently adding as our extension. So all you need to do is wait for it to be fully installed as our extension on our Chrome. And after adding it as your extension, you'll also be directed on this page or all you need to do is to simply log in or sign in your account on Monica AI. So from here, just fill out step 1 until step 3. And for the step 1, you could also log in or continue using your Google account, sign up using your email, or even using your Apple ID. But I'm going to choose to sign up using my Google account. And after signing in, you'll now be directed on this page. Where in this step 2, all you need to do is simply choose your subscription plan. We have here unlimited annual plan with its corresponding prices and also list of benefits it included in here, including standard models, advanced models, image generation, AI smart writing, AI smart summary, and many more. But if you want to skip this part, you could click the next button below. And now for the step 3, you could also navigate some other shortcut including this control M in order to access Monica AI. And also you can pin on the extension on your URL part to pin Monica to optimize your experience. So after installing successfully this application and signing your account, it will show you on the right side panel in here that you can simply click the logo icon of Monica AI or you could also click Ctrl M on your keyboard. And now to start using it, for example, I'm going to click some other random email messages like this one. And if you're going to reply this one, you can simply click this arrow in order to reply and under this reply, it will show you an option to use AI reply. By clicking this one, it will show us this Monica AI that we can simply reply using these ideas for reply. But if you also want to customize the length and tone, you can click this one and choose either the length such as short, medium, long, formality, such as professional, neutral, casual, and even the tone of it. I'm going to choose humble. And after that, you could also add more tone if you want to. Then it will show you in here a variety of choices for ideas to reply. So all you need to do is simply click on the kind of reply you want. And it will show you in here the overview of the reply. And if you want to start inserting it, you can do so by clicking the insert button right here. Or you could also copy or generate again if you don't like the result and even save it to your memo. But by clicking this insert button, it will automatically insert in our reply in here. And at this point, you could also start customizing depending on your preferences such as to go some some other contacts if you want to add more ideas in here that you prefer. Then you can now start sending it directly to reply. And moving on, you could also click the icon in order to reveal on the right side panel this Monica AI, in which from here you could also press Control or enter here your command that you want for this Monica AI to help you. 
So it is basically working like a chat GPT where you can search anything or command anything that you want for this AI to do to you. For example, I'm going to enter create an essay about dropshipping and by clicking enter, you'll be able to see here that it has now been creating an essay about dropshipping with its corresponding info. And if you want to stop the result, kind of click the stop button right here. And it will stop providing an information in here. And if you're satisfied with the result, you could also copy this one, share, or even to shorten it, lengthen it, or even change the tone, or even at least translate some other language in here. But let's say I'm going to shorten it by clicking this one, and it will automatically show us the result of shortened info in here about the essay. Aside from that below here, you have the option to chat with this page or summarize this page if you want to copy the link, a screenshot, memory, chat settings, and navigate the history in here. So basically, those are some of the options that you can navigate in here. But also below here, you have here also the option that you can start navigating, including to ask a memo, voice input, or to just speak on your mic to enter the context that you prefer. Now on the right side panel, you have here the option of bots. You have here to choose either GPT-40, which is also like ChatGPT, but it's way more advanced. So basically, you could also ask this bot depending on your preferences or assistance that you want. Moving on, you could also navigate these more options in order to either search, read, write, translate, EA art, or even navigate the toolkit. Like liking this read from here, you could also enter the URL, like YouTube or other medium, or you could also upload a files in here that you want to get summarized or proofread in this page. Moving on, you could also navigate here this right to let this micro AI to create you a context or other literature with its corresponding length, format, and depend on with your preferences. Moving on, you could also translate some other language in here by selecting the language that you want to translate into an English word or depending on the language that you want to be translated. For example, this bonus is it will show us that the Google Translate a bit is good morning. So that's basically one of the best features that this AI offer. But you could also navigate on the top panel in here, this web translation, if you're not satisfied with the Google Translate. You can simply upload here the PDF file that you prefer. But we go on, on the more options in here, you would also navigate this AI art. By clicking this one, it will show you that you can simply enter a description to describe the picture and the AI will create the picture that you describe in here. For example, I'm going to enter create a painting of dog with dress. So as you can see, it is currently now generating. So all you need to do is wait for it to be generated. And after that, it will now show you the result of the dog with dress. So as you can see, it only takes a second in order for the result to come up. And to download this image, you could also click this one and click the download button to proceed. But you could also navigate this AI image generator and many more. Well, under this tool kit, you could also navigate this PDF tools to chat with PDF, invoice scanner, navigate the PDF to Word, and also this image tools to remove object on the image, upscale, remove text. Well, under AI tools, this AI content detector is one of the features it offers. So basically, Monica AI aims to streamline tasks and improve efficiency for both personal and professional use, making it a versatile tool in the AI landscape. But overall, that is just basically how you can use Monica AI. Thank you.